um, because I've never I've never experienced someone dying that's close to me, especially a sibling, and something that you can never be prepared for, and especially with my little brother, like he. Um, it's hard to speak about, yeah. But he, anyway, I, I won't go right into it right now because I just don't really feel I can. Yeah, the last, so the last few months have been, uh, I would say, very difficult would be one way to put it, but I would say that it's been, it's been a struggle, like, in a lot of different aspects um, of my life, and it has, a lot of it has been, like, my, my mental space, and, um, and then also, you know what's going on with my life and where I'm, you know, uh, where I'm trying to go and what I'm trying to achieve and and to be honest, I've been pretty lost. Like I, I, it's been hard. I haven't, and I'm still trying to figure out a lot of things. But the last few months, you know, especially this year, was uh, really hard because I lost my little brother and something that I haven't really spoken a lot about because. I just really haven't had the, um, yeah, I just haven't, uh, I just haven't had really, I just really haven't known how to speak or think or feel about it because it's something very personal and, you know, um, it's very difficult to speak about your personal life and certain things, especially because I've been so used to being very on, open and transparent with, uh, you know, my world and, and everything that I'm doing. And, um, yeah, I have to stop and think about my family too and, you know, their, their privacy and their, you know, I, there's a lot of things that I think about and especially with my little brother, like he, <laughs> um, it's hard to speak about, yeah. But he, anyway, I, I won't go right into it right now because I just don't really feel I can. But I, yeah, I lost him and it's been really hard on myself and the family and um, because I've never, I've never experienced someone dying that's close to me, especially a sibling. And something that you can never be prepared for. And there's, you know, it's diff gonna be different for everyone. And um, since then I've felt very lost and unsure about what I'm doing and just felt like I've just been, like I haven't been able to really get ahead and, and, mo and I lost my motivation, I lost my drive, I lost a lot of kind of, you know, I didn't have a lot of, um, I had a lot of other personal things going on before that with my own setbacks and injuries and and uh, what I'm dealing with. So, um, you know, right now we're in Utah and I've been um, kind of, everything got kind of put on hold for a little while. Um, but I'm out here in the, back in the States and I came back to, you know, make the most that I can, with, make the most that I can with, um, with, the, uh, with the companies that I've uh, aligned myself with, bucked up, you know, they've given me, um, an opportunity to work with them and I really feel that I think it's very important for uh, for everyone to have um, work or a purpose or something to f like something to work towards and especially like like a job and when I wasn't working or you know on my on my game I just felt lost I like you know I started and for a while I was thinking of getting completely out of the fitness industry I was just burnt out wanted to do something different and I felt it was kind of losing its spark it wasn't as exciting I feel like a lot of things have been done we've all been to the expos we've all you know 
big bent competitions and we've all seen everyone online and everyone's a bodybuilder now, everyone's, anyone can be an influencer. So I feel like it kind of just lost its, um, like its spark in a, in a little bit. And I, I was thinking even for a while, you know, maybe I want to do something different, find another career. And I took some time off and I was thinking about other things, but I realized that it's not easy to find just going, you know, to go into a different um, field of work, especially if you haven't studied anyway. I've got, you know, I've had a lot of time to think about it, but I realized, um, you know, that I still have a, an audience and a platform. And even though I haven't really been connected and, and current with everyone, uh, I feel like I still really want to get engaged with you all here. And um, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do that and because um, I, was, I was so used to creating and making content based around my physical appearance and my training and my lifestyle well my lifestyle has kind of taken a dive since then especially since I went through my struggles I had problems with uh, drinking and drugs and you know um, and then injuries and you know I had a lot of uh, um, I had to work on myself and heal so I'm still going through a lot of healing and you know but it's been one setback after another so uh, yeah it's been a it's been a it's been a real it's been a tough ride and I won't lie I've had many many like very low times and with myself and my own uh, you know just love, I've lost love, I've lost the ability to hope and you know, I, I lost a lot of uh, the ability to, um, you know, the, the motivation to, to get up and work and go to the gym and all these sort of things. So right now I'm trying to get back on my feet. That's the main thing and just really find some stability in um, where I live and, and with work and I, I have these, uh, these great companies that are willing to work with me and I really just want to be on board with them and then put out some good content and, uh, and, and find my groove again. But it's taking some time and uh, I'm just glad that you guys are still here and uh, anyone that is tuning in and uh, I hope that I can get back on track very soon and continue on with you guys. So, so what is my purpose now? Again, it's something that I ask myself, continue, like I remind myself and I ask myself a lot um, because it's not a clear answer. Um, you know, it changes sometimes and I'll struggle to even understand what is my purpose here now. But I believe that my purpose here now is to re-establish and build myself back up again to get myself healthy, to work on my brands, to work with these companies, to work on my relationships, my relationship with my son, to be there for the people that need me. That's really what my purposes are gonna be surrounding. Uh, it's not really about me per se anymore, where it was used to be about my physique and my competitions and all these things, you know, these, these self goals that I used to have, that doesn't really resonate with me um, as much anymore. So I think that my purpose now is gonna be um, giving exposure, even on working on, on mental health, um, being a um, um, someone, being an influencer, people that you could, they can relate with, and that I can talk to you about, you know, the struggles about mental health, still about fitness and training and diet, um, but also about what's important in life and what are we doing these things for. And I think that one of the main things that we're doing this for is to have fulfillment. Um, not for the temporary things that make us happy, things, bikes, cars, nice house, the parties, the girls, whatever. All those things come and go, they don't last. But I think the, the main thing is, is working on the relationships and, uh, and something everlasting. Are you happy right now? Um, I could be happier, you know, I'm not, I'm not really fully content. Um, and I'm not, I, I, I say that because uh, I'm, I'm still feeling a bit uncomfortable because I'm, I'm not, I haven't found my feet on steady ground yet. 
I'll be happy once I'm in a routine and I have consistent and I'm working and I'm able to support and sustain myself. That's when I feel like I'm truly happy that um, I can be there for others when they need me. Right now, I still feel that I need to work on myself and um, have a lot of um, you know healing to do. So I'm not truly happy, but I'm working on it. Guys, thank you so much for all your support over the last year and all the other years. Um, in buying my merch from Von Moga, it has helped me tremendously in supporting me, even coming back here um, and traveling and everything. Um, I really couldn't be here and do this without you, so thank you. And also, thank you guys for using my code Callum for Bucked Up and for Young LA. Every time that you go to the shop and use my code and, uh, and buy something, it helps me a lot. It helps me be here today. It helps me get through everything and your love and support, it means a lot to me. So thanks for being there for me. So guys, stay tuned for more videos coming out soon. Uh, I want to be as consistent as I can here um, and check in with you guys as much as you guys check in with me. Um, so hopefully we get some more training content, lifestyle, day in the life, more fun stuff. But I'll see you guys soon.